narrating the incident where a 12-year-old boy passed away in his constituency due to lack of beds samuel okujeto ablakwa lamented the country's broken health system which he says needs immediate attention he was speaking during an induction ceremony organized by the accra ubuntu lions club on saturday i received a frantic call from my colleague in parliament the honorable sam nete george the mp for ningo pram pram at about 9.33 p.m. The call was in relation to a constituent of his, an assemblyman who had reached out to him from the Bator Catholic Hospital located in my constituency. Honorable Sam George informed me the distress call he received from his constituency related to an urgent need for his constituent son a 12-year-old to be transferred to a tertiary facility in Accra. Apparently, since afternoon, the Bator Catholic Hospital staff and workers of the National Ambulance Service were unsuccessful in securing approval from a tertiary facility to bring in the child. Kolebu had no bed, and calls to 37 military hospitals were not being responded to. After more than five hours, they reached out to their MP for help, and he in turn called me since the incident was in my jurisdiction, so to speak. I had to then call another medical doctor who is a constituent of mine and works at the 37 military hospital for his urgent assistance. He immediately made arrangements and asked that the child could now be brought into the medical and emergency unit. When I finally called Dr. Atuguba at 10 minutes past 10 p.m. to convey the update from the 37 military hospital, I was hit with a rather terrible news that the 12-year-old had just passed. Back on the phone with the Honorable Sam George, we agreed that we have failed the little boy. The system let him down. Since last night, I have been sleepless and reflective. Why do you need to have your MP's phone number before you can find a hospital bed at a tertiary facility? As part of his recommendations to the government, he asked for a policy that would ban government officials from seeking medical attention abroad. There is the need to implement a policy of no medical treatment abroad for members of the executive, the legislature, and the judiciary with immediate effect. This appears to me to be the best way to address the numerous challenges in the health sector. This will force us to get things right and do right to avoid the needless death of the 12-year-old which continues to traumatize me.